So it's not even been a year yet since the Air Max 720 came out and the prices have dropped significantly from 180 down all the way to under $100 in some places. So I wanted to give you guys a follow up on the Air Max 720 and just give you guys my thoughts after nine or 10 months on the open market. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Before I get into this video though, this shoe is super dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the shoes with my Rejuvenator Sneaker Cleaner, which is my sponsor if you guys did not know. And they have a crazy 50% off sale for Black Friday coming up. Use my code KICKS50 in the description and it's only gonna be available for a certain window. I'll put that in the description as well. 50% off though of everything on the site. So if you guys use my code, you actually get a free present too of some sort. I'm not sure what it is. They haven't told me, but you do get a free little extra present if you do use my code versus like the code that they have available for Black Friday. Personally, my favorite product on their site has always been the three brush laundry system. You can do a light clean and rub down if that's all you need. For those shoes that you need a deep clean, you can do the light clean, rub down with the brushes, then throw them in the wash, get that deep clean, and you are good to go. So any other time if you're watching this video other than the Black Friday deal, my code is also in the description. It will save you 10% off of their site at any given time. All right, so as you can see here is a look of the shoes after cleaning them. They look pretty good. So here's a look at the dirty one again. That being said, this video is gonna be really focusing on this shoe right here, the Air Max 720. Now, the very first colorway actually released uh, February 1st, 2019. So this is almost 10 months old. That's it. It's crazy the shelf life of sneakers nowadays because it feels like these have released like two years ago. The bubble has kind of burst on the Air Max 720. Like, not like literally burst. Maybe some of you guys have actually had literal bursts of the Air Max 720. Uh, but leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know, has your Air Max 720 burst or not? I mean, it's a huge air bubble as you can see here. I did a hydro dip print on this one. So I actually dipped it in a flower print, which is why it looks a little bit different. I'll just show you guys this one, which is the other one that I uh, did the tiger camo like design on all over the place. It was just in these little spots, but I did a little customization on these ones. But the Air Max bubble on this is the biggest Air Max unit to date. It's a big old booty Judy on the back, as you can see here. It's like that little pear shape with the big old butt. But uh, but it is really an odd sensation when you put these on feet. It's something that you definitely have to get used to because it does feel a little bit wobbly uh, when you're walking around. It's not a shoe that you're gonna be running in. Like a Vapor Max would probably be a lot more stable and the original intent for a Vapor Max was actually for uh, running, but this is more for casual wear. But is this giant ridiculous air bubble something that consumers wanted? Tough to say, to be honest. I mean, some people really like them. I have three pairs of them, they're comfortable, but it's not as much of an all around shoe in my opinion. Like, I don't see a lot of people going to the gym and working out in 720s. I do think that because of the lack of versatility of the shoe, it definitely has kind of a more narrow path consumer. The craze of the Air Max 720 did not last very long, which is probably not something that Nike is super excited about. It's just one of those shoes that seem to be sitting on the shelves. You can buy these from Nike.com. You can go to the outlets and get them for under $100. I will link Nike's website, and if you want to pick up a pair, you can. Do you guys think that Nike overexpanded this model of the 720 already? I mean, we've seen at least three or four different iterations of the 720. There was a Nike Saturn model and the Uptempo and the ISPA. The Saturn and the Uptempos are actually at outlets. I've seen them as low as like 70 bucks for the $220 like Saturn shoe. I believe it was 220 at retail. Um, it's pretty wild. Then we've had some collabs like the OBJ, but I don't think that the collaborations on the 720s were as good as they probably could have been. They probably needed to do more and bring more to the table. And just as an example, you had the Cactus Flea Market Vapor Max, which did pretty good. And it's just one of those shoes that has like a resale value to them but uh, we didn't really see too many of those type of shoes from the 720s. Maybe they just needed to do a lot more collaborations, I'm not sure. On an interesting note though, previously Nike would recycle the same midsoles and the outsole of the flagship Nike Air Max models. Since it seemed to be a baseline for what is the right amount of Air Max in an airbag, with the 720s though, as I mentioned, it'll be interesting to see if they keep it the same or forget about the creation altogether. I do wanna refer back to my one month after wearing video though, and I had some pros and cons. Let's see if they're still relevant. I said that some of the pros is the Air Max is felt, it's insanely big. It makes me taller, which is very true. Stability is much better than expected, which is also true because when you look at these, they look like they're unbelievably unstable. 
They still are not stable though. I mean, out of stability, I would give them maybe a six and a half out of 10, but it's still better than expected. Another pro that I mentioned is that I like the upper materials and that they're different than other pairs. One thing to note though, is some of them are different than even each other. So this one's kind of like a neoprene upper, but the iridescent one has a nice, really crazy rubbery sort of upper. And I like this one a lot better. I did like that the tongue stays in the same place and that it is not something that is attached to the shoe. And overall, I think that the style of the model is really nice. Some of the cons that I previously mentioned is that they are a little bit slippery on wet floors. The cutout on the sole is a little bit odd when you're driving because it kind of indents inward. Fit of these are a little bit snug. I went true to size on the original pair that I bought. Since then I've gone to a size 10 and they do seem to fit me a little bit better. But some people may find true to size just fine. I just have a little bit of a wider foot. Another con is the big old butt. Some people aren't gonna really like it. It's just very bulbous looking. And the butt catches on objects really easily because it sticks out so far. Problem with the big old booty, I guess. Another con is that they are durable, but I am worried about the big air unit and if it's gonna pop or not. And again, leave a comment in the comment section if you have had a blowout of your 720s and even better, if you have a picture on Instagram or Twitter, tag me and so I can see it because I really wanna see what they look like if they are blown out. Another con is the fact that these are pretty heavy. They're not light at all. And a couple of the models are not breathable as well. Anyways, to sum up the video a little bit, in the end, what prevented people from jumping on the 720 craze? Is it the lack of hype? Even the Vapor Maxes had an off-white collaboration and then obviously, as I mentioned, the CFM collab. One positive thing though about the hype being dead is that you can just buy them for a really, really solid price, which is a win in my book because if I can buy a pair of shoes that retail at 170 or 180 bucks and I can get it for under $100, then there's value created there and I have a shoe that's worth more than what I paid. Regardless of the actual resale, uh, it's just worth more to me because the production of that shoe was meant to be at a higher cost. I love to find things under retail and when you get something that's a flagship model under retail, even better. Also, one other thing to note, the 270s just seem to be a better average consumer sneaker since the air unit was less aggressive and they did feel a little bit more stable overall. Anyway, so sometimes less is more and the 720 may just have been too much. I'm still happy with the three pairs that I have and as you can see from the dirty pair here, I enjoy wearing them. What will they create next that is bigger, more streamlined, thinner, stronger? I don't really know. What will they create next to have us wanting to walk on air for the future years to come. I'm guessing they're trying to manufacture something that's thinner and more durable than what they offered on the 720 because these things are a little bit thick, but obviously they have to be so, so they don't pop. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm excited to see the next iteration of Nike Air. But those are my thoughts. Leave your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Is this a shoe that you tried and you liked? Is it a shoe that you never got? And leave a reason maybe why you didn't pick them up. And uh, I'm curious to read the comments that you guys post. Appreciate you guys that leave those comments and appreciate when you guys hit the uh, thumbs up button. Even bigger appreciation if you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified of when my videos do go live. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great, wonderful day and more videos soon. Peace guys.